Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nikita Tanwani, former Femina Miss India, Andhra Pradesh 2019 and I'm also a model and an actor but primarily over here on my channel, I make videos to help young pageant aspirants prepare for their upcoming pageants, familiarize you guys with the pageant world which is pretty unconventional and something that I had realized during my pageant preparation journey is that not enough information was available online for contestants who want to know how do I prepare for Miss India or Miss Diva or several other pageants that happen in the country and worldwide. And I also like to sprinkle my content with a little bit of positivity and motivation. And so I hope you enjoy my content and that you stick to this channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a generic topic and a very commonly asked question that I get all the time. And I know that a lot of my audience is in the age group of, for instance, 16 to 18. And while there are teen pageants that you can participate in, which I covered recently on my channel as well, a lot of you have been asking me that before I turn 18 or right now from the comfort of my home, how do I start preparing for Miss India or Miss Diva? Because Miss World and Miss Universe is the dream of a lot of young girls. And so in today's video, I'm going to be giving you some tips and suggestions about what things can you do right now if you're 14. 15, 16 or any age and if you want to get a kickstart on your preparation process that is if you are planning to participate in a pageant a couple of years from now what can you do right now that is going to help you just perform better and be better prepared because I truly believe that preparation plays a huge huge role in providing a lot of confidence and morale boost to a contestant the more prepared you are the more knowledgeable you are the more confident you are and so we can start right away before I dive into the video, if you have been enjoying my content so far, then please do give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications bell so that you get updated every time a new video comes out. The first thing that you can do to start your pageant preparation right away is start reading books. If you don't have the habit of reading already, do not waste a single day anymore. Just get started. Read anything that you like. You don't have to read fancy or classic books that other people recommend, um, self-help books or motivational books right away if you are not getting interested in them or if you tend to get bored and you have very low attention span which happens all the time to people. If you are in that category, just start reading fiction, start reading short stories, start listening to other authors interviews maybe there are movies that were based on books and sometimes that used to get me really interested in reading the book as well as a child so see what sparks your interest and the reason i'm emphasizing on reading so much is because vocabulary is a huge part of public speaking which will be a skill that you need to possess when you start going for a pageant and that's one of the you know restraints that sometimes contestants feel that oh i don't have fluency in English or I have very limited vocabulary and they are going to ask you very similar questions multiple times in a pageant. You will be asked to introduce yourself multiple times. You will be asked how is your experience? How are you feeling? Questions such as these, if you have a vast vocabulary, you will be able to articulate your thoughts faster, better and also use different words every time because nobody wants to sound too repetitive. If not, then you can listen to interviews there is plenty of content online. Just listen to audiobooks if you have a very busy schedule. But start consuming content in whatever form is convenient to you as of now. There are podcasts in which every episode will talk about topics such as forgiveness and love and empathy, success, motivation, death, goals and aspirations. You finish a series of such a podcast and you've already consumed so much content, enhanced your vocabulary so much and you have so much to say about these topics a lot of which are relevant topics and along the lines of which pageant questions are also based. And I do believe that I am a summation of the books that I have read in my life. Now, while reading will obviously intellectually prepare you for your upcoming pageant, you also have to take care of your skin and your body. And there are so many lifestyle changes that you can make to start your preparation right away. And one of the most important things is to make sure that your skin is glowing and moisturized and hydrated properly. Because when you see healthy glowing skin on stage, in pageants or anywhere in photo shoots, that obviously is a good sign, right? And so for that, Mama Earth has actually just launched a new range of products. You guys know Mama Earth, I'm a huge supporter. And the best part about this cold cream range that has been launched by Mama Earth is that this is Asia's 
first cold cream that is made safe certified now to elaborate on that made safe is actually america's first non toxic seal that is given for daily use products and very few brands have that certification so when i saw that mama earth got certified by made safe i was all in for using this product so in the cold cream range we have the coco nourishing cold cream the upton nourishing cold cream as well with turmeric and saffron all key ingredients which are going to do wonders to your skin but that's not all the best part about the cold cream range by mama earth is that you will now be able to get glowing moisturized nourished skin without having to have that greasy look on your face in winters and because it's so safe and non toxic you can actually use this cold cream all over your face and your body as well and so that's another plus point because we can't use a lot of creams on both the face and body because of their chemical composition and i might just go ahead and use some here as well because i burnt myself this morning curling my hair and for just 299 rupees we get this huge tub of cold cream so the packaging is super cute like that not just that these products are also dermatologically tested and they have so many good ingredients there's honey which has soothing properties there's vitamin c which causes illumination there's olive oil i really love mama earth as a brand because they've completed 5 years now it's a local indian brand and they have beautiful initiatives such as the plant goodness initiative which means that every time you purchase from mama earth they're going to link an order on their website to a tree that they plant and they plan on planting 1 million trees by 2025 and they are also a plastic positive brand which means that they recycle more plastic than they use so if you want to check out these products mm. then you can head over to the mama earth website or even their official app where they have extra discounts going on and you can use my code nikita t2022 to get 20% off on both the website and the app and the products are also available on amazon nike purple and first cry for baby products moving on to how you can take care of your body even better for your pageant preparation not just do you have to obviously moisturize your skin in fact your entire body because this believe me you will thank me in your old age or years down because i have been doing this for years and sometimes when i'm at set and during shoots i do get compliments that one not just have i taken care of my facial skin but also because my arms and legs are equally shiny and glowing and so if you want overall healthy skin then start moisturizing And another thing that you should be doing is working out or investing time in your fitness something that a lot of teenagers don't do but if you are planning on getting into a pageant then just start doing any type of physical activity it could be swimming it could be playing any sport but you have to do at least 30 minutes of physical activity because your body is actually getting shaped in your formative years and what happens is something that i've seen in my students who are teenagers and have not been working out at all they don't have any core strength and also leg strength or balance in heels and so believe me when i say that that if you invest in your fitness you will automatically grow up to realize that you just have more strength to balance in heels which makes it easier and faster for you to be able to learn ramp walk and also we don't want to be just skinny people we want to be lean and toned and so that is a work that starts as soon as possible and so don't wait for the pageant to come to start your workout but you can obviously hold off certain weight lifting workouts for when you're older but as a teenager also you can definitely involve yourself in physical activities that keep your stamina up and that give you strength the third point that i would want to suggest to anyone aspiring for a pageant is to start giving time and invest in a skill or a new hobby that you can learn right away most of us are sometimes just so absorbed in our education and giving exams and studying that by the time it's time for appearing for a pageant we think that oh i don't really have any talent to show something that happened with me too and so i wouldn't want any of you to be in that position and hence i would recommend just pick up a language that maybe you want to learn it could be music it could be dance it could be an instrument it could be yoga it could be boxing it could be artistic talents it could be anything but just start planning for an overall holistic development because if your goal and aim is somewhere in the pageant industry then just sticking to your academics alone is not something i would recommend because you do want to be an overall confident person it's not just going to build a skill it's also going to make you 
put yourself out there it's going to be a huge confidence boost you might just involve yourself in public speaking by getting into muns or debate groups and just anything that is available in your school and college because believe me once you're out of college you don't have those clubs and groups and departments to be a part of anymore so make the maximum use of it right now my fourth tip for pageant preparation would be to at least give some time of your schedule to some form of volunteer work no matter how young or old you are this is something we can all do not because that will become your beauty with a purpose project and you can build that further for a pageant but because being involved in volunteer work alone will open up your eyes to the wide array of problems that exist in the society and what would be a priority what is the solution that you will be able to provide if possible in the future and you need to have a purpose and so to be able to find your purpose which is something most contestants and students you know struggle with that i don't really know why i just wanted to do it but you don't have too much to say when it comes on your social impact or too much to say on the type of change that you will bring into the system you need to start thinking about these things and to be able to have an answer for that question you should have had exposure to what is actually happening in the world put yourself out there as much as possible question everything do not accept things just because someone told you this is how it's supposed to be done not just volunteer work i would also recommend you to go to churches and gurudwaras and masjids and every religious place also that's something i actually did as a kid just because i wanted to understand how different people are still united and so it's basic things such as these and ask your elders questions as to why does this happen differently or why do we follow this practice understand your family traditions your roots because you will have so much substance to talk about in the future only because you actually paid attention and the last tip of advice that i have for you is do the practice also of everything that you are consuming and so this will include a lot of things first and foremost start journaling no matter what the frequency is it could be just a sunday thing so every sunday sit down and just journal about your week what about your goals how are you feeling currently no matter how young or old you are i have seen tremendous change in people when they start journaling and this is an investment that you are making in yourself when you have to write down your introduction think of it this way or you have to prepare for your interview bring about self awareness when you are actually in the pageant all those years of journaling will actually be super handy because you've already done the homework similarly if you aspire to be in a certain pageant watch as much interviews about it do your online research we all have access to internet on our smartphones these days start making a list of the network that you would want to be a part of the people you would want to get in touch with when it is the right time and the right place and so you would have some type of homework done and when you hear and watch such people the young human brain tends to automatically subconsciously absorb the mannerisms and that is going to be a huge help for you in public speaking another thing that you can do to further test yourself is speak in front of the camera just do this for 10 minutes every day record a video of yourself speaking on any topic even if it's not impromptu you could be reading off of a sheet of paper because even if you improve 1% every single day in a year i believe it calculates out to be 37 times improvement which is huge and so you will thank me later for getting a head start on your preparation because you have already been working on holistic development throughout your entire life i hope you guys follow this advice and if you do then please do tag me in your stories or posts of you preparing for your pageant and by getting a head start on the same and i would love to see those and repost those as well as always i love you guys so so much and i will see you very soon in my next video bye